I know that science is a group effort because I didn't know anything about submarines, didn't know anything about ships. I, basing my knowledge off of everybody else's in the classroom really made me learn a lot from this experiment because I would never know anything about this kind of stuff if it weren't for like Zach and all the people who helped develop the idea. So it was fun to research and help put the project together, but it's definitely a team effort. I realize that science is a lot of trial and error because of all the substances that we tried and that didn't work. And we spent like, I want to say three quarters of our time on substances that didn't work. And as frustrating as that was, you, we had to realize that that's like how science is. So it helped like appreciate that this is typical for have like. Also, what I got from like Emma was just saying is a lot of trial and error. You could also relate that to like life because that's just how it is. It's trial and error. <laughs> um, I I had a lot of fun in this uh, science experiment just because. Um, I learn better with my hands, and so I created, uh, me and my engineering team, we created the uh, submarine, and uh, I had a lot of fun uh, thinking of models that we could do. We had like four different models and, of trial and error, and none of them seemed to work until we looked at the actual submarine and, or, and could figure out how we could show how to make the uh, submarine uh, float or sink. It was pretty intense last days, but it was, it was a great time. I liked that. Thank you. I actually did enjoy it. The only part that was really hard about this experiment was the disagreements that would sometimes occur. Mm -hmm. So you would have to like work, out, work it out with each other to like explain what you were thinking so the other person would know. And it, that was the hardest part. But I did make it, I personally liked it better because I learned more like of what it was like to work with other people from this experiment. And like it was just more, like I learned more about how natural resources and everything like naturally comes together like red tide because I know now what's going on in the oceans and how it's affecting the animals. I feel like it was a really challenging experience, but that it's something that I can use throughout the rest of my life because working with an entire class full of people is really difficult, but it teaches you life skills that you're going to be able to use later on when you're actually in like a, a work type of setting with other people that you need to cooperate with. So I feel like that was one of the biggest things that I learned, how to cooperate and compromise with different people. And I feel that we came out with a really good end product. Yeah, I'm very impressed with you guys. <laughs> Overall, at the beginning, it was it was difficult. It was difficult figuring everything out. We had four separate groups: the engineering group, the booth group, the, which worked on the physical presentation, the website group, which worked on the digital presentation, and the experiment group. And it was very isolated. It was very no one knew so far as what the booth group was doing, what the engineering group was doing. It was very it was very hard to communicate at first. But once we got past that, it was very easy to really get it all done. I think, I usually don't like science at all, <laughs> I'm not a science person, okay. but when we were doing the expo, our class, I think it got us talking more with each other, it helped us work better together, and actually got a lot of us thinking in a scientific way, and I don't think in a scientific way, but <laughs> I had to for this. I think the like most important part about this whole project was that we just worked really good as a class together, and we had to, like we had no choice, and it just showed us like how what teammate, teamwork can do. And it's really cool how like we could come up with our own ideas and it was cool to see how all the classes could make their own ideas, not based off of anything really. Anything else for me about science now for you? I think I think it was fun. Like it was new to try to come up with ideas. Like it really it, it's you're not sitting in a classroom saying you have to learn this. You know you could try to think of like brainstorm your own ideas, try to think of something new. And it's nice to work with like teams. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it, was, it showed us teamwork a lot. Like towards the end, we were kind of crunching for time because we weren't working as a team to begin with. So we it showed us that like the technology group had to help like the communications group make the poster, or like we just had to help each other. So we made sure it got done on time. So that helped a lot too. 
I kind of liked doing the project. I thought it was really fun, and I got to learn some new things about like just general things that was easy to do and as fun. So I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed it too because. And usually we're like we do like worksheets and stuff like that. So this is like getting more involved. It's <laughs> <laughs> not like so. It's not true. I would love to say I I love what you did with the no no not the project. You already know I love the project, but I love. I thought it was really fun. It gave a yeah, different was, perspective on. Like, most of the experiments that we do in class don't really. I mean, they're not actual things that we're doing. This is actually a real world thing. You were able to connect it, and you were able to bring in different subjects to kind of go through it. We were able to work with everyone in the whole class, so we all got I liked it how um, it was like our idea. We didn't yeah. like have like teachers give us like something just to do ourselves. Mm -hmm. so it was so student run, so that was really cool. Yeah. What did you find the most challenging? No, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to take this. What did you find is the most challenging part of that process? Um, I thought the most challenging part was like starting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took a while to start. No one could really agree, and it was such a wide range of topics we could pick from. So it was hard to kind of all come together on one certain idea. If you could redo part of your project, what would you redo? Um, or maybe do something different. Like, what would you do? I think we would have gotten to an idea faster, so that we would have done more yeah. with it. Just because it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we were we were rushing in the end. But, but. Um, I'd probably um, make like the head like heavier, like more of a human head, make more of this different. So if you're chosen to go to Hartford, you have a certain number of weeks before then. So what sort of things would you do? It changed the way like we looked at science for me because there was many different groups. Like there was a website and a group. group. And it kind of like showed me that there's different parts of science than just experiments, like building a website to like display all your information. So, it taught me to think outside the class. Your first um, conclusion to your problem isn't going to be your final conclusion. Yeah, like first we thought that we just make a pipe, like from scientists, but then we thought about how to how get rid of the um, carbon dioxide, so we were thinking about a filtering system, and then algae and bacteria came along, 